Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Robert Cantor. Today, I'm going to show you how to recreate the only other variation of the Wonka Bar that is mentioned in the original book. That is, Nutty Crunch Surprise. Now, lots of different nuts are used in candy. You've got peanuts, almonds, pecans, walnuts, etc. In both the book and the 2005 film, when Veruca is eliminated from the tour, Wonka's trained squirrels are shelling walnuts. So I just went with that. The surprise is that it's got hazelnut spread in it. I realize that a handful of walnuts isn't exactly a standard unit of measurement, but you don't need too many. You don't need to be precise. Just follow my usual instructions and everything will be alright. Only this time, add the hazelnut spread and the condensed milk before you add the chocolate. Just make sure to stir well, and once it's fully liquefied, promptly add in the walnuts. Remember, if the chocolate is on the burner too long, you're going to ruin it. Normally, my recipes only need to go in the fridge for about three hours, but this one needs to stay in there a little longer, otherwise it's going to melt in your hand. That's all I've got to say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and if you really want to help this channel out, click the links in the description below and buy my books.